I really would love to put Myanmar on the map as the next yoga destination, um, as the next Koh Phangan, as the next Chiang Mai, as the next Bali. So I started practicing in 2007, about nine years ago, and it was really because I was a management consultant. I was traveling four days a week to different clients. I was a consultant. I was working completely um, in a desk job, and I just felt closed. I felt tight. I felt like I needed a, an opportunity to stretch my body and more than that, to center myself, to start to clear my mind. It was a really high stress job. I came to Yangon just with an open slate, knowing there were so many opportunities and teaching yoga was really just something that I wanted to do on the side and it grew so quickly because I think the community here is so vibrant and in a city like this where there's a lot of traffic, it's quite chaotic and there is a sense of wanting to belong to something. When I started teaching, I pretty much only advertised on YEC, on the Yangon Expat Connection, and I think that's probably dominated by expats, but since we opened, we're definitely seeing more and more Burmese, more and more locals coming, and it's great because what we want is to have a completely open community for everyone. We've had some friends bring their friends, bring their taxi driver, so it's been, yeah, we've had quite a few um, uh, locals come to the community as well. Yoga is such a rich tradition and it's been around for over 3,000 years and has evolved so much during that time that you have so many different styles, you have so many different philosophies behind it. So part of the mission of Yangon Yoga House is to let people experience all those different styles. So we're not stuck on Hatha or Ashtanga or Vinyasa. We want everyone to experience everything.